we have talisman here. This is what you need to know for the day. This is angelic messaging, higher frequency messaging. So we have the number 49 here. I feel like four and nine might be significant to some of you. Uh, and the card is talisman. Now, when I look at this image, first of all, it makes me feel like you're figuring out how to protect yourself. You're figuring out how to work with the universe and not work at the universe. That's what a lot of people are doing when they take an egotistical approach or somebody who is so wrapped up in what they know and they've done this just for the power of it, just to be like, that's right, don't mess with me, <laughs> right? Or I'm above other people because I've studied blah, 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 blah. Those people are going to fail. They've already failed, okay? And they know that. That's that's not what this is indicating for a lot of you out there. For most of you, you are somebody who may have been stuck or may have been in a cycle of abuse. And maybe you're ending an ancestral cycle. A lot of people who are incarnated at this time who were alive for 2012 have incarnated to stop some sort of cycle. All right? Now, as you guys know, I do one-on-one -on -one readings. These are general. If you want something more specific to you, you can get a reading with me, angelsouls444.com, or that's how you do a standard reading, or you can do a live reading. Those spots are very limited at this time, but you can try. Angel Souls, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. But again, you're learning how to flow. <sighs> I'm telling you, you're learning how to flow with the knowledge you've been given and not use it in an egotistical way. You're learning how to tap into it. Um, again, it's not going to be from the mind and how the mind perceives things. It's how, how your whole being lights up when some energy approaches you or you expand your awareness, you expand your consciousness. This is controversial for some of you out there because you... Uh, take something, you take a substance of some sort, and you pop open the pineal gland. And a lot of you are not doing this responsibly. You're not even bothering to do this with a shaman because you don't care. Okay. Oh, she getting into a lecture for some of you. Yes. <laughs> not everybody. But then, then you go around and brag like I had this experience and I'm so enlightened now. Ooh. I can't help you, okay? And um, now I'm going to talk to the people who actually get it, so thank you. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. Don't don't be doing that. And if you do want to have that kind of experience, um, you know, I'm more on, I mean, I'm not opposed to it, I suppose, but just make sure you're doing it very responsibly with people who actually can guide you through that process. Cool? So this is embracing your spiritual knowledge. You're opening up to even more but it's true wisdom. It's not this ego thing. If someone sits down with you and says, I know all of that. Ooh, that's their ego talking. I've already done X, Y, and Z. And I haven't, And I've, or they might even say, they might say I haven't gotten the results I want. But even if they do say I have gotten the results I want, but now I want to go further, that's ego. Because they're trying to prove something. As soon as you're doing that, you're out of alignment. We need to be in alignment you don't have to levitate. Take the pressure off yourself. You don't have to figure out how to do that. You don't even have to be a perfect person. It's okay. As long as you're a good-hearted person who's doing their best. Pretty sure that's all the universe is asking of us. But we need to make a concerted effort to be doing the best we can. That's all. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.